this is an ongoing uh, story live 18 year old west of San Antonio killed his grandmother and went to an elementary school and shot it up several students and a teacher have been killed here's an update it's hard to tell exactly what activities they are going on you can see farther down there's a lot of activity near the back of the school I can't be sure if they're going in that entrance if they're out and back there is a large field out and back of the school uh, we haven't gone over that way I have seen numerous law enforcement agencies state local federal all of them coming in here uh, trying to support local law enforcement and their mission uh, right now piecing together what happened, securing this school, and trying to get some answers for many, many grieving Uvalde families tonight. And, and when we look at that school, Garrett, a lot of questions about how did this person get in the school? Where did they go? Did they have to get past someone to make their way into uh, wherever the shooter carried out this horrific act. Uh, and I know that, you know, with just the, the tremendous law enforcement presence, we can't answer any of those questions. We have to wait to hear uh, from them. But are you getting any kind of indication from law enforcement, any new details? Because as we've mentioned, we've really heard um, some very, some really details we already had confirmed from the Uvalde police chief there, but most of what we have, have heard and been able to report has come from the governor who was across the state, who was in Abilene. Have you been able to talk to law enforcement there at the scene? Unfortunately, we have not, Myra. We've been, uh, we've been out here on the scene. You know, generally the guys who are at the perimeter, they have a general idea of what's going on, but they're usually very, very tight-lipped, trying to make sure that's coming from whatever press release or press conference happens, that those details coming out. As of right now, we haven't been able to piece together the actual details of how this happened or how it went down. All that we can see is behind us a school that should have been letting out in just two days for the summer now closed for the foreseeable future, surrounded by crime tape and investigators. So unfortunately, yeah. we do not have those answers. Yeah, I, I was a little new piece of information, uh, Garrett. I, I asked you about the FBI if they were on the scene because we did see them on the scene in Sutherland Springs. I am told uh, that yes, they are on the, that the FBI out of the San Antonio office is on the scene and they're at the command post there, uh, which I believe was the vehicle that you see further down uh, with what looked like a, a satellite antenna off the top of it uh, as you pan down those line of cars. Um, I believe, even if you go a little farther right, right there off in the distance, I believe that's the command post that has been set up. That's usually what one looks like on the scene. But I am told that, yes, um, that there will, uh, the FBI is on the scene and they will be taking part in a press conference at 5 o'clock at the Fairplex uh, which is on Veterans Lane in Uvalde. And, you know, from this view, when we're looking at, at what potentially may be that command center, Garrett, there's a fence right there. I mean, it looks like that may be a, a residential area. Can you kind of give us a, a lay of the land there? I mean, you're standing in front of the school, but what's around there? What, what else is really wrapped up in this scene? As far as we've been able to explore around this area, you know, this is locked down pretty tight. And once we got to our spot, it was kind of hard to, to keep moving around. But as far as we can tell, these are all pretty much one family homes. This is a neighborhood. It's a school right in the middle of the neighborhood, intertwined with the, with the community. And yeah, it looks like it's, it's pretty open over there. You can't get down to see the, you know, what kind of fence, but it doesn't look to be anything big from what we can see. So... And beyond the, beyond the doors to the school, and we don't know where exactly this happened on the school campus, or at least I've not been briefed on that. We haven't been at these uh, press conferences, but over here on the scene, it is uh, it is pretty well locked down yeah. and in the middle of any other neighborhood like anyone in Uvalde or San Antonio. Yeah, and you see what I'm presuming are uh, law enforcement officials that are walking away from the scene uh, and... Uh, you know, what has to be a horrific scene inside that school. Um, thank you, Garrett, uh, for your reporting, and uh, I appreciate what you've been doing all afternoon.
Um, we have been getting a number of statements. We talked about how this is a shooting that reverberated from the main streets of Uvalde throughout South Texas and certainly throughout the country. We're told that President Joe Biden will be speaking to the nation tonight uh, about this shooting. Uh, we've also been getting statements. Uh, I've been getting some sent to me, and I know we've been getting some sent to uh, the newsroom as well. Uh, I got a statement from Congressman Vicente Gonzalez of Texas's 15th Congressional District saying, Lorena and I send our prayers to Uvalde and Robb Elementary community. The gravity of the situation is unimaginable and incomprehensible. The loss of a child to senseless violence is something that a parent should not have to go through, and we need to be committed to ending the epidemic of gun violence across the country. It goes on. Uh, again, that is from Congressman Vicente Gonzalez uh, of the Texas, uh, Texas 15th District. And I believe that we also have some statements from our local leaders here as well. Uh, this statement from Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf: it is with profound grief and broken hearts that we learn about the news coming our way this afternoon. We stand united with the community in Uvalde and offer our assistance. And this is, and he goes on to say, we also mourn with them over the lives of those children and adults lost to violence. Bear County is sending personnel and material from the Office of Emergency Management, the Medical Examiner's Office, the Sheriff's Office, and University Hospital to support the ongoing operation. Uh, this statement coming to us from San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg. Uvalde is experiencing the sickening aftermath of a horrific mass shooting. At least 14 children and a teacher are gone. Pray for the lost, their families, and Uvalde. San Antonio has sent mass casualty resources to the region and will do all we can to help our neighbors heal. We also know that San Antonio police, they have sent resources to Uvalde as well. Uh, we saw some tweeted information from Police Chief William McManus earlier today saying that they essentially stand ready. Uh, they sent some SWAT officers down there, some investigators uh, to help in what will be a very extensive investigation uh, to come. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we are expecting a news conference uh, around 5 o'clock from uh, Uvalde, and I expect that we will hear from uh, not only the Uvalde Police Department, uh, but also, as we have learned, the FBI is on the scene, uh, as well as uh, Border Patrol and uh, some other law enforcement entities. So I am guessing we will hear from them and perhaps have even more details coming up at five o'clock. But uh, it just it, it's unbelievable to imagine right now that 15 people have been lost inside an elementary school for students in second, third, and fourth grades. 14 students and one teacher killed by an 18-year-old gunman who is from Uvalde. And uh, we talked about the need for blood donations. Mm -hmm. um, I also got an update. Uh, I believe the Uvalde Memorial Hospital is accepting blood donations there as well. And I believe also University Hospital uh, accepting blood donations. And we have kind of gathered away, consolidated all of those ways in which you can help. If you are moved to donate, you can check out those resources on KSAT.com. That'll show you the contact information for these agencies like the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. If you're in Uvalde, certainly there is going to be uh, some roads that are going to be blocked off, maybe different ways that you have to get around in order to get out and help. We've got that information on our website again, KSAT.com. Uh, and as we get 